to talk now. Yeah, now I would. She has actually so many publications <laughs> and so many awards to her credit that it's really taking time. So I would uh, invite Dr. Ruchika, please start with your topic. Uh, at the outset, I would like to thank Dr. Manindra Rauja Madam for uh, having me on this platform. And I'm also thankful to uh, Ambuja Madam and Dr. Minakshi. They have reduced my work to 50% because many things have been discussed. And Dr. Mala Madam also has got very important points. So today we are here to discuss about whether HPV can be done as a primary testing and what are the pros and cons of it. So uh, we This is the scenario of cervical cancer screening in India. That is only 2.2% women in the urban region and 1.7% in the rural region. The same is with upper our UP. So, uh, so many women are eligible for uh, cervical cancer screening, but only 2%. Just see the this thing, 90, 70, 90 will never forget. And uh, we can reduce the incidence of cervical cancer by only screening. So we were doing cytology. So what were the limitations of cytology that we are now thinking of moving to HPV as a primary screening modality? Because in case of pap smear, in 8% of the specimens, there might be the possibility of inadequate sample. Pap smear has a false negative rate of 20 to 30%. The false negativity is might be because of the clumping of cells when the cells are not spread evenly and uniformly on the microscope slide or there may be contamination with other cells, uh, other things like blood and bacteria. So detection of abnormal cells is not possible. If the slide is exposed to air too long before being fixed, cervical cells can become distorted. And an average pap smear slide contains about 3 lakh cells that must be examined. And if the sample contains only a few abnormal cells, and then within a crowded background of healthy cells, abnormal cells can be missed, particularly in government setup where there is too much workload. And it has been found that even after several years of cytology screening, our the incidence of cervical cancer has not reduced. As Mala Ma'am has already told that 20% of the world incidence of cervical cancer is from India. And very high mortality we have from India. So we know that HPV is responsible for more than 90% of the cases of cervical cancer. And most of these HPV infections are transient and they clear by within two years of age. So, but if it, there's a positive HPV test in a woman above 30 years, it indicates a clinically valid persistent infection. Now let us see what is the average sensitivity and specificity of via it is just 55% sensitive and specificity is all, also only 80 to 85%. Likewise, for pap smear, it is uh, sensitivity is only 58%, but it is quite specific to the extent of 93%. Whereas HPV testing, it is highly sensitive and highly specific. If HPV is there, that means <clears throat> she is having high grade CIN23. That is, it is 96% case. Cases it's sensitive and specificity is also 90 to 95 percent. Moreover, it is having a very high negative predictive value. That means if there is no HPV uh, is detected, then the patient is almost free from cervical cancer. It is almost to the extent of 99 percent uh, negative predictive value. This is another study here. Also, they found uh, some different extent of uh, sensitivity and specificity, but. Here also the HPV has a maximum sensitivity. Regarding specificity, uh, cytology is also quite specific. So now, according to the latest uh, American Cancer Society guidelines, as discussed with our Minakshi Madam also, and WHO in 2021, they have, in low, they have declared that in low resource settings, HPV test should be adopted as the primary screening modality. So why HPV? Because when HPV is negative, if there was a study of 12-year follow-up women, a 12-year follow-up, when HPV was negative, only 3.6% women developed cervical cancer after 12 years. Whereas with cytology, those who had cytology negative after 12 years, 13.4% women had developed cervical cancer. And if the BR was negative, uh, about one-fourth of the women developed cervical cancer. So likewise, there was an another study published in Lancet Oncology in 2010. Uh, they concluded that um, they studied 47,000 women were randomized to pap smear and same amount 
were randomized to HPV testing. And in the cytology uh, group, 18 women developed cervical cancer in a longer follow-up, whereas seven women in the HPV group developed cervical cancer. And so they concluded that HPV is more effective than pap smear in preventing cervical cancer by detecting persistent high-grade lesions earlier and providing a longer risk. HPV test, if it's negative, it's a peace of mind that for 5 to 10 years, uh, you are not at risk. Likewise, in another study, that this was a population-based study on European women, on 1,76,000 women. And uh, after a follow-up of 6.5 years, cervical cancer was significantly detected lower in the HPV arm versus the pap smear arm. So this is the reason that most of the countries have adopted. Most of the European countries, Belgium, Netherlands, Turkey, they have adopted primary HPV screening as the primary modality of screening for cervical cancer, Australia. And though Germany has adopted co-testing and most of the countries are planning to switch from pap smear to HPV as the primary modality of screening. So let us see. So WHO in 2021, July, it has recommended that HPV is the preferred method for cervical cancer versus pap via or pap smear. So the starting age is 30 and every five to 10 years, we have to repeat it. So it is also more cost effective. So we can go either for screen and treat or screen, triage and treat. It is more simpler, more objective. It is more reproducible also and prevents more pre-cancer and cancer. And mortality is also reduced. It saves lives more compared to via or cytology according to various research papers which I found. Uh, coming to the various uh, lacunas and loopholes of the uh, pap smear, like in term, these are also combated with HPV, like the inter observer, intra observer uh, differences, uh, which were observed with cytology, they are not present with the HPV. Likewise, inadequate samples leading to wrong results, technical errors, high false. negative results, they can be overcome by HPV. HPV test is also technically easy. And HPV test say we can decide whether the patient needs immediate colposcopy or should return to routine follow-up in every five to five years. So because if HPV is positive, then the next thing is we can go for colposcopy. Try it. So it is found that if HPV is delayed even for a month, then the chance to stop of 48 extra women from developing cervical cancer will be missed. Likewise, if we delay the implementation of HPV screening by one year, it would lead to a loss of 1,595 quality adjusted life years of women. So such is the magnitude of importance of HPV testing. In various studies, it was found that the number of women who were referred for colposcopy is also very less as compared to referrals when they were solely based on pap smear. India mein to colposcopy thodi uh, sasti hai, lekin foreign mein it's a big uh, economic burden to the patient because uh, they say that ki se jada expertise ki requirement hai, infrastructure ki requirement hai. Or India mein, India is also it's quite difficult for the patients we have to um, kuk manana bada mushkil hai. So WHO has said HPV DNA but uh, in the second phase of WHO 2021 guidelines, they have said that even HPV mRNA E6, E7 protein might also be done. This can also be detected, but the thing is, it should be done at an interval of five years and it can be done with or without triage. And it can also be used as a primary screening test, but the guidelines are more in favor of at present HPV DNA as compared to HPV mRNA. In general population, HPV 
CTN is the primary recommended test. Similarly, in uh, people living with HIV, also HPV DNA is the primary recommended test according to WHO guidelines 2021 in low resource and middle income countries. So in the screen, how to manage these cases in the screen and treat approach according to WHO, the decision is based on positive primary screening tests. So positive if HPV is positive. So if the women is screen negative, that is HPV is negative. That means the woman does not have CIN or cervical cancer and this chance that highly likely that she will not develop cancer in the next five to 10 years. It is a very high negative predictive value. So negative HPV test is very reassuring and we can extend this screening interval to five to 10 years. So repeat screening can be extended. Once we have a negative HPV test, it's a great peace of mind. If a follow-up visit indicates HPV test positive, then we need to investigate further by means of colposcopy. If HPV is negative, then regular screening. And according to WHO 2021, stop screening at age 50 years after two consecutive negative results. In This is applicable for the general population as well as people living with HIV. Because in people living with HIV, there are more chances of getting cervical cancer. But WHO has also said that if HPV testing is not operational, then we need to go for three yearly pap smear or via. So for HPV screening, even twice in lifetime is beneficial. We can reduce the screening duration also. For HIV, HPV DNA is the preferred modality has already said that HPV mRNA is not preferred. Uh, in HPV for normal population, we can go only, go only for screen and treat. Screen may positive hai to treat kar diya. CIN 1, 2 hai to jo bhi hai, uh, ablative procedure ya cryo. But here, screening, triage and treat. And for HIV, the age is 5 years earlier, that is 25 years. And the duration of screening is also 3 to 5 years according to the WHO guidelines. That is the screening interval is reduced. The age of starting is also reduced. So, what are the benefits of HPV as a primary screen? So, we know it is more sensitive, it is more specific, it is reassuring, negative means negative, fewer examinations are there, false negatives are minimized, the focus is at risk, and it predicts the outcome and mortality and extends the screening interval. Moreover, the participation of women is increased, coverage is increased, and screen only women between 30 to 60 years of age. Early screening is not indicated because 21 years se jo tha, usse incidence of serious cervix was not uh, increasing. So HPV co-testing increased the detection of CIN2 compared with cytology alone. So co-testing is also a good option. HPV testing is more accurate than repeat cytology at triaging patients with ASCUS following cytological screening. So uh, in, after pap smear, if we get a patient with ASCUS, so instead of going for repeat cytology, let, it's better to go for HPV testing then because it's more accurate. And HPV produced higher pool sensitivity with similar specificity. It's a useful tool in decision making. So these are the guidelines which uh, Madam had already discussed. These are the latest American Cancer Society guidelines of uh, 1920. So uh, let us revise them. Uh, the 21 to 24 years, so there is no need of screening. 25 years ke baad preferred hai ki aap HPV testing ki jiye. Or acceptable hai agar HPV testing nahi hai, to aap HPV or co-testing ki jiye with pap smear. Or agar wo bhi nahi hai, to aap, agar sirf pap smear kar rahe hai, to three years mein pap smear ki jiye. 30 to 60 years. Preferred is HPV testing every five years. Screening interval bhar gaya hai. Or co-testing is also good. It is also acceptable. But if it is HPV co-testing is not available, then go for pap smear every three years. And 65 years ke baad, agar purani sub negative hai, there is no need of screening. Uh, this is the US, uh, US Preventive Services Task Force. And these are previous American society of uh, this 2012 guidelines. So, pehle to pap smear tha every three years. So, this is the same thing. So, American society guidelines, the difference kya hai ki 
but there is one hitch with some HPV on this test. HPV has also a certain false negative value and there are certain um, documented cancers which are HPV negative also. So by commercial available test, delayed diagnosis may be there. It could result in higher stage tumors due to longer five-year screening interval after negative HPV results. So at any stage of life, patient ka ek bar co-testing with cytology bhi ho jai, that is the American Cancer Society guidelines. So women should have a morphological examination of pap smear at some point in the screening history and should not be screened slowly with HPV test, especially for older women with an uncertain screening history. Uh, now coming to self-sampling for HPV. In the COVID times, WHO has approved self-sampling of COVID, HPV. It will reduce the logistic burden for the patients and the healthcare system. Patients are more privacy is maintained, autonomy is maintained, patient the daily routine workup uh, nahi maintain hota, cost effective bhi hai. So WHO recommended that self-collected vaginal sample is as good as uh, physician collected sample and there are many studies which say that uh, participation is increased when, when self-collected specimen was there, self-sampling was there and even in various meta-analysis that patient ki acceptability for pap smear and uh, cervical screening was increased by double after adopting self-screening. So how to do this self-screening? Uh, this is a very simple. But with the same self-screening sample as told by uh, Minakshi Madam also, we can also test for gonorrhea, chlamydia. So the thing with self-sampling is the sample should be adequate, it should be acceptable and it should be acceptable to the population and it should be accurate. So prerequisite. And it has been found in various studies that uh, the sample adequate, it is acceptable to the population and it's also self-sampling is equally sensitive and specific. So self-sampling can be done without any supervision at home or in private clinic. And it uh, acceptable hai because uh, traveling ka time bar jayega or pandemic corona may uh, when, when healthcare visits are reduced. But the thing is, information should be there. Individuals must know how to take the sample, what should be done with the sample. And uh, after sampling, if there is problem, aati hai, they should, then they should need to visit for the follow-up care. And kit for sampling should be made available and policy and regulatory framework should be followed. So HIV, uh, HPV self-sampling can be used to increase the participation. So what we, the same sample, we can, uh, same sample jo self-sampling, we can also go do uh, liquid-based pap smear also. So we just introduced into the vagina. We asked the patient to introduce into the vagina and the, the swab of cervical cells is taken and specimen is sent. If it is positive for high risk strains, then it's precancerous. If it's benign, negative, then it's likely to be benign or regress. HPV self-testing, it can be used for follow-up of screen positive women also because uh, who require further investigation. Sensitivity is also equal as initial connected specimen. It's also time saving, acceptable. So, but there are certain um, considerations which we should consider before choosing HPV as the primary screening modality because there are so many tests available. Uh, the, we have to choose an HPV test that has been clinically validated, which is USFT approved or uh, EMA approved. Because if we suppose if we introduce certain HPV test in India in a screening program and later we change it to another test, it's not logically uh, possible, neither it's cost effective. And these HPV kits also have expiration dates like nine months, 12 months, and supply chain management aspects need to be considered in the context of the screening program. So there are various HPV tests which are available. The most common which is used is uh, PCR based test, RT PCR based test, even TrueNAT test, which has been used for COVID testing. So, uh, TrueNAT test can also detect HPV testing. 
सो मोस्ट कॉमनली जो एप्टिमा एच पी वी एस एंड कोबास टेस्ट दीज आर मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज एंड दे आर वेरी हाईली सेंसिटिव एंड स्पेसिफिक ओनली इफ दे प्रॉब्लम इज if the sample collection is there uh, then we, we might face some problems otherwise these hpv tests are in themselves very sensitive and specific all cobas is fda approved cobas uh, isme robotics bhi hai 24 hours mein 13000 samples it can test then there was another study it's the biggest population based study in china where 11 lakh 60000 women uh, were tried to two groups one hpv Uh, positive women were triaged by cytology alone or uh, cytology along with this thing and they they found that with hpv the detection rate of cin2 was improved but there is a challenge with hpv testing most is most hpv infections are transient therefore triage testing of hiv hpv positive women is recommended to prevent over referral and over treatment there are uh, uh, other advantages of hpv testing it is a higher and long lasting negative predictive value duration is increased so permitting an extension of screening interval to 5 years or more even once or two hpv screen in a lifetime may confer substantial preventive benefit as already stated by dr minakshi just one or two screening is sufficient it can be successfully implemented as a see and treat approach where screening triage and treatment that is by cryo uh, is provided in the same visit so point of care hpv testing platforms are available rapid results can be provided and thing thing is a uh, limited skill of laboratory technician is required for this thing and moreover hpv testing is better for women who had hpv vaccine and for it leads to better detection of cin lesions and used better for post treatment surveillance jinka cryotherapy hua hai ya palliative therapy hua hai to post treatment surveillance ke liye hpv testing better hai ca cervix ki mortality kam ho jati hai cervical cancer ka incidence kam ho jata hai because uh, false negatives are less but there are policy makers have to face certain challenges in implementing hpv as a primary modality so they have to choose which hpv test what is the triage method how to follow up how to refer what is the age range we have to decide what is the screening interval what is the communication strategy training strategy for healthcare providers before implementing hpv in india as a primary modality Uh, the policy makers have to decide all this thing infrastructure establishment should be there ruchika and ensure okay what is the these things also we have to see foxi gcpr uh, recommends co testing from age 30 to 65 years of age so let us join hands together for cervical cancer elimination with a new approach cytology hpv based screening opportunistic always go for community targeted screening and physician or self sample to achieve our 90 70 90 target thank you thank you so much all the audience and maninder madam yeah dr indu yeah thank you dr ruchika for such an elaborate and informative talk uh, it means that the hpv testing should be made a primary method